So this is the Cessna 206 forward cargo door. This aircraft has one small issue with it in that in, in an egress situation with the flaps down, this door hits the flap and you cannot egress the aircraft without using the back door. It's very complicated to open the back door with it hitting the flaps. So what we've done is we've made it very simple so when you need to exit the aircraft, it's merely turn the factory handle and open the door and you get one full-size emergency exit. So it's one handle inside the aircraft, you turn it as per the factory and open the door regardless of the flap position. So nothing changes as far as flight characteristics, flight manual operation, briefings, full flap, no flap, open the door. We started the certification in February of 2020. We knew there was the issue, Transport Canada was having concern with this door that there had been fatalities in Canadian waters on float planes. That was the driver for us to come up with the design. We then, working with Transport Canada closely, did an alternate means of compliance to there where there's directive. We did egress testing with this. We evacuated the aircraft with six people, three of them being naive passengers, and we evacuated at full flap in 42 seconds. We met all parameters of the FAR 23 requirements for the egress and for its design. With normal land planes, it's more of an enhancement to the aircraft, knowing that if you do have an accident, which we in fact did have one in Canada on wheels, that the occupants can still get out of the aircraft if there is damage to the airplane. We did have an incident where a, a fellow on wheels got into bad weather condition and put his aircraft into the snow. He cartwheeled, the left wing twisted, and he could not get out of his door. There was steam coming up from the engine. He thought it was a fire. He turned around in a panic to get out, and he merely opened the door and jumped out. He praised us for that because in his time of need, it was nice to know that he didn't have to mess around with the other door system. The installation of the kit involves the frame assembly, the double hinged frame. This is it, 1.4 pound difference. Our kit includes everything you need to cut your door, insert the frame, give you all of the trim and all of the emergency placards for the door. The installation time is anywhere from 16 to 18 hours for general structures person to do this or sheet metal engineer. We give you the glass, we give you everything you need, all of the rivets, um, aside from a couple of standard rivets that you would normally have in the shop. You can paint it up to match your aircraft and it's, it just fits right in. So there's very minimal time for install and at the end of the day you have the safety of having anyone exit the aircraft with just by turning one handle and one approved exit. Anyone with basic sheet metal skills. It's not primary structure on the aircraft. We're merely just cutting the door, sizing this frame into the door, and then sealing it up according to the drawings. The cost of the kit is $8,800, and it's uh, ready to ship out of our distributorship in Canada at Coast Dog Aviation. This is a demonstrator of our new AVHSI accessory for the AV30. The AVHSI adds precision vertical and lateral guidance, allowing the AV30 to be used to fly instrument approaches, both ILS and GPS approaches, down to LPV minimums. The AVHSI is compatible with all the leading GPS on the market. This is an Avidyne IFD 540, our little work called the Garmin series as well.